Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and today I have a special live for you. It is Saturday. It's Saturday, April 13th, 2024 at 11 a.m. Central Time as I'm coming to you live. This is a special live. This is a show and tell live um, where I show off cards that I've been receiving gifts and cards, I should say, that I've been receiving from Paper Crafting Friends. Um, some of them, or half of them, I should say, are ones that I intended to share with you last month when I did a live, but there was no way I could have gotten through it, and already the live was like, oh, over an hour, maybe an hour and a half, I don't know. So I I decided that I was going to put those off and share them soon, and soon is now. So I hope that you enjoy all these creative ideas. If you're watching for the first time, Thank you and welcome. Um, please uh, subscribe, it's free to do, and uh, it's fun to get notifications for when I share live paper crafting classes too. Um, I also post recorded videos, so I try to post a couple times a week, maybe once a week for sure, Of obviously. So you get lots of creative ideas shared with you by subscribing. I want to welcome Lisa Marshall. She is my moderator on YouTube this time. Normally she's on Facebook, but on YouTube, those are the comments that I can't actually go back to and respond to. Um, so she's here to answer any questions. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> and I'm looking over there because I can see the comments rolling in on my laptop. So hello, hello, and thank you again for joining. Let's go down to um, my desktop real quick because I want to show you some news. I'm going to talk about some news first, if that's okay. We have a new catalog. It's debuting May 1st, and demonstrators, most of us have this in our hands already, and we are loving it. I can't open it up per the rules of Stampin' Up!, which is totally fine, I get that, but um, you can see all the things that are going to be in this on May 1st when you go to the store. So you just go to my blog, my website at stampyourartout.com and click on Shop Now. You can also just go to stampinup.com to shop. If you're a demonstrator, hang on a minute, it's like 70 degrees, and at 70 degrees, it's like a magical thing. My nose runs. I don't know why. <laughs> we're going to have some nice weather, and we're rolling in from cold weather to warmer weather. My husband said it's going to get up to like 74 today, and I can already tell. It's like just an instant. It's an old lady thing. I just, my nose runs at 70 degrees. Okay, back to this. <laughs> um, so yes, if you uh, are a demonstrator, make sure that you're watching for this. Um, you should have it soon, if not already. If you're um, someone who orders from another demonstrator, talk to them, let them know that you're interested in getting the catalog if you want a paper copy. If you do not have a demonstrator, reach out to me at stampyourartout at comcast.net and I will send you a link so that you can um, have a catalog sent to you if you live in the US. Okay, so let's move on. Because that catalog is going to debut soon, that means that the current annual, let me get that off my screen, the current annual catalog and the mini catalog, which goes through this month, are ending. So this was the January through April mini catalog. It was a four month catalog. And then this one goes through April and it was for a whole year. There are products in these that are retiring. They're called last chance products. I'm gonna take you over to my, um, my shopping screen here, just so that I can show you how to find this stuff. So if you're at stampinup.com, you're going to click on specials and then you're going to click on last chance products. And that's how you can find all the items that are leaving us soon. Some of them are discounted. You'll see sale next to them um, if they are on sale. And there's 11 pages of like 30 things. So there's a ton of stuff that's leaving. You'll want to check that out. And please, I know, even if you think that you don't have um, anything left that you want to get, there's always like... 1700 people that come back to me and say oh i wish i would have known that was leaving please just check out the online store just glance through it and make sure that there's nothing that you absolutely need to have in your paper crafting supply stash we're going to come back to those catalogs soon um, but let me go back to uh, i think we're going to go to my desktop no i have one more piece of news that i want to share with you and then we'll head on into the supplies okay so let's take a peek at this this here is a PDF that Mary Fish put together. Um, I mentioned a Stampin' Friend on my blog post this morning when it went live, uh, and I just referred to a Stampin' Friend. Some, a fellow demonstrator was kind enough to put this together. 
Mary Fish is an awesome person. So um, I don't think that there's any inaccuracies on this list, but it is a price changes list. And so if you're gonna be looking at the online store, in the coming couple weeks before May 1st hits, you may even want to consider looking at these items. And this is a PDF that's downloadable from my website. Again, thank you, Mary Fish. Um, and it just talks about price increases. There are a few um, and it happens every year. I don't always mention it, but there are a few. And I just wanted to point that out in case anybody wants to stock up on some stuff. Let's start sharing. All right. Uh, these are not in any order. Normally I order them. I put them in a, in a, very nice and neat order, and I didn't do that this time, so please forgive me. Let's zoom in a bit here, because I want to make sure you can see all the fine details of the cards. So, all right, I'm going to also move over to another area of my, of my computer here. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so here we go. This is a card that was gifted to me, just sent to me recently, actually, by Cindy Howard. Um, she happens to be a demonstrator in my group. And um, I, I don't know why I got it. Maybe I got it earlier. I think I got it earlier and I just started sharing it just recently in my demonstrator group. That's it. So it's an Easter card and it's beautiful. Lots of details. I love how she curled the petals of the flower. She's even got some spritzed little um, elegant. Can you see the um, shimmer on there? So some products, when I show you these paper crafting cards and products or, or, or gifts or whatever, not all of them might be stamping up or they might have retired products in them or whatever. So I'm not going to name everything. I'm just going to point out some stuff. I just love the um, overlapping and it's beautiful. It's got some dimensionals on there so you can see some shadows. Gorgeous card, Cindy. Thank you for that. Yeah, we're just going to go in order of how I have them in my bucket. <laughs> this is um, using a kit. Uh, this is not a paper pumpkin kit, just so you know. But look at, she's got the beautiful uh, bow punch um, leaves on there done with, I believe that is the um, copper or the oxidized uh, paper. Uh, I think that's what it's called. It's in the online exclusives area. It's beautiful paper. It's got some blues and coppers and um, metallics in there. And then she um, obviously stuffed it behind the the sentiment strip here. So really cool card. Kathy Godwin, thank you so much for that. And I have this card. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, this is from Pat Frank. And um, they're all fun ones, but this one actually, like, when you open it up, you go, oh my gosh. Um, so she's got lots of beautiful bling on there. The, be the gorgeous birds from that celebration paper that we had. And watch. Ta-da! <laughs> It's like got this little pop-up staircase or fan or whatever you want to call it on the inside. So you see all of these birds. It's just gorgeous. Really pretty. Thank you so much, Pat, for that creative inspiration. <laughs> How is everybody? It's so fun to see familiar names pop up. Hi, Janice. Hi, Peggy. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm, did you already grab it, Janice? It's, I mean, the blog post is already live. So if you want to go over there, there's a description in my YouTube video um, where you can click on the link and you can see photos of um, some cards I'm going to share at the end. And then it also at the very bottom or towards the very bottom above my signature is where you're going to find that PDF to download. So hi, Patty. All right. So this card here is a fun one. This is actually from Lisa Marshall. Hey, Lisa. Um, and I didn't want to pull this. In fact, I haven't pulled it all the way open yet. See, sending you lots of love. This is a really cool... Um, die set that I it's like a stamp and die bundle and I think it's leaving right Lisa oxidized copper oh you're so good thank you <laughs> um yep so beautiful card love it love it <laughs> it was a thank uh can't wait to see you in Houston card was what that was here we have so again these are all scattered all over the place so again forgive me they're not in any order this is from Sandy Lincoln and it's obviously a St. Patrick's Day card. Super cute. What I really like about this is she used um, fabric to do the hats, but you can see that there's no frayed uh, threads going around because what she did instead is she took a punch or a die and she um, cut into the white layer and then she inserted the fabric between. And if we just peel this up carefully, you can kind of see. See, there's the fabric, the green fabric there. 
So she adhered the fabric to the back side of the white and then stuck it down onto the black layer. Obviously she inserted the belt buckles first and then put the fabric there, but super cute creative idea from Sandy Lincoln. <laughs> oh, it's called a stadium wave card. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for that little um, tidbit on the name of the type of card. Awesome, love that. Was that Virginia who said that? Yes, thank you, Virginia. All right, this card, super cute and sweet, and hang on, um, it is from, um, uh, I love it, she calls herself Lady Michael. Her name is Michael Hoglin, and um, she's been um, with me for a while, watching videos and viewing and commenting. Thank you, Michael, for this card. Super cute, super sweet. It's using that Celebration um, stamp set, the, the freebie. And I wanna say that she, um, I think that she said on here, oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, she cased the card from Debbie Henderson. So giving credit to my friend Debbie Henderson, who's a fellow admin of the Paper Pumpkin fan club. Love Debbie. Um, this cute card, I think this is Sandy Lincoln too. Yep. This is Sandy Lincoln also. And um, she also enclosed a little gift. This is her Easter card. Stinking cute idea to use that um, little guy, that little bunny from that set that has the rain and the character, I forget what it's called, but it has like rainy day stuff and I love it. And then she's got it on one of the wobbles. <laughs> so cute, love it. Thank you so much, Sandy Lincoln. And then she inserted this cute little paper clip that she added some, um, I forget what this is called, is this felt? Um, but she has like a little bunny butt, bunny butt clip. <laughs> all right this card is using some new products and it is from marcine ingram and it's using the new spotlight on nature dies and stamps you're going to be able to purchase these because they're going to be debuting in the new catalog on may 1st so she's a fellow demonstrator came with me to on stage um, and was sending a little thank you for the gifts so <laughs> isn't this fun Playing in the rain. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Oh, and Janet, you guys are good. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, sharing names of sets and papers and all that stuff. So yeah, have your catalogs in hand, you guys, and help me out here. <laughs> all right, this card is from um, Caroline King. Caroline King, and I love, Caroline always adds like little stickers to her envelopes. It's always fun and festive to get her, her envelope. She's got like, fun little sparkly stuff. So this is her Easter card using a former uh, paper pumpkin kit from a couple months ago. Super cute um, kit. I loved that one. And with the daffodils and the little chickies. And so that is Caroline King's Easter card. And we're, we're not even making a, a dent in this pile, you guys. <laughs> Playing in the rain. Thank you, Lisa. She says it's still available. Um, the bunny set will be available separately. Um, love it. Okay. Good to know. Um, the bundles, all the current bundles, I believe, I don't think there's any bundles, Lisa. I don't know if you know, but, um, I don't think there's any bundles that are carrying over. In other words, like if you, there's a stamp and die set bundle normally where you save 10%, they might carry both those items over, but the discount is no longer available in the new catalog. Does that make sense? There's going to be new bundles that have discounts on them, but, um, not all of them uh, from this past year, most of them do not carry over most, if not all with that discount. So you'll want to get bundled savings now, if you can. Um, this is very pretty. I love, uh, stamp sets that have kind of that Asian influence, the, um, you know, like bamboo and, um, origami and paper lanterns. I don't know. I just love that stuff. So very pretty card. I love the paper that she chose to put behind this. Um, I'm wondering if she created this herself now because it looks like Stampin' Up! Colors, but it looks like a, it feels like a vellum. Ah, I know what she did. Uh, this card, by the way, is from Deb Johnson. Thank you, Deb. Um, I think what she did is took blends markers and just colored on the top of the vellum and then put it behind as a layer. Doesn't that look like what it is? It's so pretty. All right, this card is fun. It's like one of those little scenes. Um, this is from Virginia Phillips. 
and so it lies flat when you fold it when you mail it but then it opens up into this really cute scene so this is an Easter card that Virginia sent me really fun I love it it's a little bunny swinging on a swing <laughs> okay the pile that I've shown is as building up so I have to kind of stack it nicely here um, another Easter card from this one from Michelle Carlson using that same Lily set that we saw at the beginning <laughs> hey Christina um, really sweet and pretty these butterflies are like the best embellishment I just added them to um, a card that I'm going to be sharing in a couple weeks because they're just butterflies can go anywhere can't they I don't know they're really pretty thank you Michelle for the card this card is a fun type of fold it is from Teresa Glow and um, it's uh, it, it's really fun watch this so have you done these before you guys where you take your cardstock and you cut diagonally so this top part is I believe five and a half inches tall I'm just gonna measure it um, yep five and a half inches tall it may be a 12 inch piece oh it's 11 inches okay so it's 11 inches but this first section this first fold is at four and a quarter inches so you know like this section right here would fit into the envelope perfectly and then you just score again um, you could score from the opposite side coming in at three inches and when they overlap like that you have a little gap here and a little gap here but um, but you get the idea right you could do this with 12 by 12 also which is what I've done in the past and then you get this um, fold that goes back and forth all the way to the edge as long as you score four eight twelve you know what I mean um, which is slightly narrower but then you have like that full, full edge to edge thing it's super pretty using um, this is using the designer paper parts of the paper pumpkin kit that we just had so love it Teresa thank you so much um, got a happy Easter card from Terry Molino fellow demonstrator thank you Terry stinking cute with the little bun buns I love bunnies <laughs> So I just love her take on it with the embossed background here. Um, I don't recognize that. I don't think it's a Stampin' Up! Embossed, embossing folder, but um, any texture back there would look really cool in the background. And then she's got this portion of the card cut, fussy cut out at the top and then stuck down um, for uh, kind of like that framing to pull it up off the card with dimensionals. Gives it that fun, well, do you guys know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I just started talking. <laughs> I love the dimension and I love the hand fussy cut at the top okay this is a purse card so fun okay um, Virginia Phillips another card from her she learned this from Danny Stamp Studio from the UK and so she made me this card that again will fit into your standard medium envelope um, it opens up like this so it's got a magnet here so it stays closed but it's like in the shape of a little purse with a handle on the top really fun and cute isn't that cute I love it okay next card thank you Virginia um, here is an Easter card from Pat Stewart uh, dragonflies work too the dragonflies and birds those are fun accents too um, have you ever done this you guys where you take the wings and you pull them up a little bit and then they have even more dimension than just the fact that they're isn't that fun <laughs> and they flatten down when you mail it but because there's already that bend in there it will pop up a little bit when you open the card okay this is a um, card made with that rock suite and this is from Heidi um, Holguin Heidi Holguin and why did she send me this card oh just oh because she got a prize she was a prize winner so she sent me a thank you for the prize but check this out isn't that fun it's a center easel type card I love it I love it because when you open this up this whole thing looks like it takes up way more space but when you fold it down it still fits into the standard envelope so fun right <laughs> all right here we go here's the next one we have um, a card from Betty Jameson and I love how she matched the envelope do you guys remember this plaid paper oh I had a hard time like not 
not wanting to use this anymore. Like you can't use retired products when you're an online demonstrator like me, but I still have some of this in my stash because I'm thinking for, you know, my own personal stuff or um, scrapbooking or whatever. And this paper was just to die for. I love it so much. It's so pretty. Um, so she sent me a card, Betty Jameson. Um, she, I think she was a prize person too. She got a prize. Love it. Super sweet, super cute. Here's one using some past paper pumpkin kit supplies. And this is from Kristen Crowley. Um, oh, this is a this is one of those cards that I got from my demonstrators in my group um, as a thank you for um, gathering together or anything you know that took place during on stage. We had such a fun time. We're going to Raleigh next year if you want to join us. <laughs> if you're not a demonstrator, check it out. It's fun. It's fun to get in on the demonstrator side of things. And if you like to travel, there's always an excuse, right? This next card is from Karen Meyer. And, um, oh, it's a Valentine's card, obviously. So she sent me a card made with that really cool bundle from the mini catalog with the mailbox. Got the envelope um, falling out of the open mailbox with the hearts that are on dimensionals or glue dots. Glue dots give a little bit of a lift. Do you guys know that? So if you want just a tiny bit of a lift, but not a whole bunch, you can use a glue dot and it will lift it just slightly, right? So you still have it too, Diane, <laughs> Diana? Yeah, it's gorgeous six by six designer paper. I loved that plaid. So nice job, Karen. I love the card. It's so pretty. Um, we have a card from, let's see here. <laughs> this is from Pat Stewart. Um, she said, if, if you show on a video, fluff the bow, because obviously the bow will flatten out. And I think I actually did. I fluffed it a little bit after I opened it from my envelope from her. <laughs> so sweet card, super cute. I remember her making this when we were on a team Zoom. It was a crafting Zoom that we do once in a while in our group where we just get together and craft. And um, she was making this and sharing um, the process. So she sent it to me. How lucky am I? Thank you, Pat. And along with that, oh yes, this is from her too. Along with it, so this is where gifts come in every once in a while because people send me gifts and it's so sweet. This is from Pat, Live Your Life with Zest. Um, I've got a towel and a trivet. And now that I have shared it with all of you, I get to put it in my kitchen because I love the color green and I'm so excited that I can now use these. So thank you, Pat, for that sweet gift. Um, here is a card from Vay Smith. Uh, Vay did this fun little lattice, um, you know, where you take and you cut into choo, 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 diagonally going in one direction and then you take and open it up and you peel down uh, every other and tuck them and you get this fun little lattice look. And she did it to the front here too, but she didn't fold it in half afterwards, but just a really cool way to add some um, texture and, um, you know, just kind of a point of interest on your card. So sweet. Thank you so much. She even sent me the... Um, the template for it. All right, here is another one of those cards made with that bundle that's in the mini catalog where you pull and, to reveal something. Um, I, <laughs> I do not, this is from Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I do not own that bundle. I think it's because uh, me personally, like I'm having a hard time pulling this stuff. I want to keep it closed, but I did. I pulled it. Super cute. But then I like stuck it back down because I didn't want to pull it all the way off. <laughs> so this is a sweet card from Lisa. She sends me cards for inspiration and ideas and thank yous all the time. I'm just so um, spoiled by her. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> all right. This next card is one of those um, slimline type cards. And this is from Sherry Rosnick. And you can use, just so you know, you can use like, just like a legal envelope. If you don't have slimline, you know, fancy envelopes, just use a slimline envelope. People throw away the envelopes anyways. Um, they keep the cards, but this is from Sherry Rosnick. Super cute. I love the ideas, uh, the idea of the adding, you know, these little creatures from that, um, or are these from two different stamp sets? Anyways, the creatures are climbing all over the mailbox and it makes it a very fun Valentine card. So that is 
from Sherry Rosnick. Then we have, oh, my pile is starting to fall over here. This card is from, um, oops, hang on a minute. There we go, Sue Floyd. Sue Floyd sent me this one, and it's made with that same, uh, that star type of pattern that I shared a while back. Isn't that fun? When you do it with designer paper, um, and you do it using, you know, the two layers instead of six individual pieces, you really get a nice flat card. I mean, this probably only took, I want to even check here. Yeah, she used one postage stamp. So it's, it's a super awesome card in that it like pops out and makes you think that it's really thick and it's not because it's done with designer paper. So sweet card from Sue. Thank you so much for that, Sue. Here is a card using one of our Memories and More kits. And I believe this is, yep, this is from my upline. This is from Susan Campfield. Um, oh, she sent it to me before we went to Houston. Uh, we roomed together. Uh, we put on an event for our large group together. And so she sent me a gift beforehand so that I could try it on. And um, so this is the, because I got jammies from her. And then it's, a, it's an easel card. So it goes like, like that. <laughs> I love this Memories and More kit. This is leaving, by the way. All right, next one. Um, yeah, so I guess there are some cards mixed in here that are on stage related, but they're not ones that I got at on stage. Um, not yet. I'm not showing those yet, am I? This card is from Shirley Banda. Shirley is somebody who makes these, oh, they're just pieces of art. Like she does huge cards and they're very elaborate. Um, they're the kinds of cards that you just have to have on display. So this will go over on my counter. I have like a counter space over there that you can't see. But um, yeah, just gorgeous using that peacock. And then she flipped it over. So she cut it from another piece and flipped it so that it had this shadow look on it. Lots of embellishments that are just gosh darn gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful, right, Debbie? Yes. I agree. Oh, Lisa, you're so sweet. Thank you. Yes, I have directions for that star, um, star type card on my website. Um, all right, this card has a lot of texture to it because it's using that paste, that embossing paste. Um, this is from Luann Peterson. And Luann Peterson is also very artsy. She um, used my stamp set, the layering leaves in there, yay. But she's also got some other images. I can see the fern is in here. I can see the, um, is it called Notes of Nature? Um, anyways, some different images in there to do that, that look that was super like strong. We did it all the time, um, collage, collaging. Um, and it's back when we didn't have like lots of designer papers to pick from. So she basically created designer paper on her own here. She also added the embossing paste through a mask so that it has this, you know, you can see all these, you can feel them. There's little tiny squares in there. Um, just really fun. And then they're kind of hidden, kind of camouflaged, but she's got some of those foil gems on there too, the pretty peacock color. Of course, it's using my favorite color too, which is leaving. I'm going to miss that one. Parakeet party, so pretty. Here's a cute idea. If you got paper clips that are decorative and small, um, this is from Debbie Silot, and um, I love this. Debbie, if you're watching, this is so stinking cute. It's a little paper clip at the end of the banner piece. So here's the sentiment, here's the paper clip, and then just tiny little embellishments. Sometimes just a little is enough, right? Just tiny little, it makes me, it makes me think of my grandmother's cards. My grandmother used to, um, well, she didn't make cards, but she would send cards. And my mom had a collection of cards that were um, sent to uh, us. And I believe my grandmother's cards always had these tiny little uh, gem type things. On. They were so cute. Anyways, um, here is another card that was created with the Lavender Suite. And this is from, I want to say Jean Nair although I don't have her envelope now. But I think that's who sent it. I, I feel like I recognize the signature. Jean, thank you. I think this is from you, Jean Nair. Um, and she uh, made this really pretty layout using a little um, sentiment strip piece from probably a kit because it's got the gold foiling around it. 
and then obviously the papers here and a fun little die cut piece. Really pretty. Uh, I have a card from Cass Turner and Cass Turner used the Memorable Meadows designer paper. Um, just a little touch of some crinkled seam binding ribbon behind her sentiment so that the sentiment stands out a little bit with a little bit of texture. And then when you open it up, it looks like this. So really pretty. It reminds me of a card that I got from um, Trisha Josephs too. Trisha Josephs is uh, the, moderate, the moderator that you guys know. Um, she's usually here on YouTube. She could not be with us today. Um, but she did a swap card for convention that was similar to this style where you have the paper here, a little strip showing here, and it's cut partway in like that. Cass, thank you for that card. Here is a card from, um, hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm checking because I have to open it slightly. Oh, yes. Oh, now I want to, oh, I know what I did. Hang on. <laughs> I kind of disassembled her card. Oh, yes, Rachel, you know how to open these. Okay, I'm going to bring it back out. This is from Marie Wellington. Sorry, Marie, didn't mean to do that. Okay, there, it's back together. And it's a pocket card. I don't know why, but I went like this, and I went, oh, I have to pull it out from behind the ribbon, but I don't. It's got her, her piece that she signed is on the flip side of this, and it just inserts like that, and then she's got the... The part on top but if you don't worry about the adhesive here your your piece slides in a lot better because it doesn't catch on the sides and it's okay if it kind of sticks out when you're putting it in or taking it out because obviously it's going to hit the flat bottom i much prefer to do it like this where you don't have the adhesives on the side because have you done those you guys where they stick as you're trying to pull them in and out so this is nice and smooth thank you marie for that card here's a card from my mama my mom likes to stamp, so she did um, a Valentine's card and sent it to our family. She likes to make, um, she's kind of like um, V-Tran, where she doesn't want to do multiples of the same card. So she likes to make different kinds and then kind of personalize them to the person she's sending them to. So um, really pretty. So we each get a different kind of card for, in our family. Isn't that gorgeous? Really fun. She hand cut those. She fussy cut those hearts, you guys. That's my mama. She's an artiste. Okay, um, we have Sally Ellsworth. Sally Ellsworth sent me this beautiful card using that um, Notes of Nature, and I mentioned it earlier. I, that's the suite that my group has um, focused in on for, here it is, for this month. This is the this is the suite, you guys. So April's is Nature's Sweetness. That's what it is, and the Notes of Nature is the bundle which is here. So she used, oh, and she used um, another stamp set down here, but the paper is in here, the Nature Sweetness paper, the gold, and I forget what it's called. This is leaving to you guys. Gold faux leather trim. Um, it's just got a little sparkle of gold on it. And then the cork rounds. The paper is stained, but everything else is leaving. <laughs> oh, wait, one of the bundles is stained. I don't know, check it out. Go to the online store and look at the last chance stuff. You'll see everything there. Okay, here we have a really fun layout. This is done, this card was done by um, Carol Lindley. And do you see what she did here? So she cut, I'm thinking what she did is she took the same paper. So she took the blue paper and she took the designer paper and she cut them both at the same time so that she would get that look where this piece would fit in here perfectly. You know what I mean? So if you cut them both at the same time, then you can puzzle piece them. And on her other card, she could probably have like blue here and then this designer paper coming through the middle. So, and really cute at the top with the sentiment up there and some foliage. Here is a card using that same mailbox. This is from Virginia Phillips. You'll start to hear some names that I get cards from. Um, I, some people send me cards more often and I'm just like, they just spoil me. Uh, Virginia is another one of them. <laughs> so super cute with the little present coming out and the bow on there. And um, the mailbox obviously is up on dimensionals for that shadowed look here. That's a fun bundle, you guys. I don't know why I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia, for that card. And then here is a card. Um, this is from Sandy Lincoln. Check this out. She sent me a little bee charm. So I can take this off the ribbon after I'm done sharing this all with you. 
and I can put it onto something like a keychain or a scissors, something that I just want to have a little bee and honey pot connected to. And so she found that and obviously we have that suite that's in the mini catalog and she paired it up and sent me this really cute Valentine's Day card. I have to show you the inside too. Uh, a Lori Whitlock design with a little help from my Cricut, she says. <laughs> Super cute. Oh, hey, it came off already. That means I get to take it and use it wherever I want right now. Um, she also, I believe this is from her, I believe she sent me a, cal a calendar too um, from Sandy Lincoln. So this is one of those easel calendars. So it folds, it has this little extra piece on the inside here. So you can fold it and put it on your desktop. And then it has all the months of the year. Really pretty. I miss that paper. All right, next one. This is another one from Shirley Banda. Oh, shoot. Who did I get the mug from now? I can't remember. <gasps> you guys, this is bad. I had the card right next to it, and then I forgot. Oh, I'm going to have to go through my cards and find out and thank them personally later again. I think I already thanked them personally, but... Um, I feel bad that I don't have the card right next to her mug. I got a mug. Okay, this is from Shirley Banda using that parakeet stamp set. And look at how pretty she colored. She did such a nice job art-wise, right? It's gorgeous. Ah, I mean, it's just, I don't even know how to describe all the little parts and pieces because there's a lot of detail on there. I love the, the cute little bell that she even added in there. Those of you that are bird owners, you, I mean, this... It looks like she knows what she's doing here, right? She's even got the little part that sticks out where they sit or they get their food from it, I think. And then that's the swing. It's just stinking cute. Love it. Thank you, Shirley. I'm feeling bad. I swear I had the card with my mug. And now I can't remember who gave this to me. I know a few people that live in Alaska and I don't want to pick the wrong name. Um, I should have put it on the box. Oh, darn it. But thank you so much. I love it. And now I get to use it. An Alaskan mug. Okay, we're moving into the um, items that I got gifted at on stage. So we have quite a few little 3D things. Um, when we had our end of the event party, we had some people um, passing out little treats. And wouldn't you know it, I've lost my post-it notes on most of them. Hang on, let me see here. Yeah, I don't know. Was this one from Kelly? It might have been from Kelly. I don't remember, but it's just like a little thing of Lifesavers or mints wrapped with designer paper, little cute little um, sentiment on the front. And this one could be from Kelly too. My post-it note from Kelly fell off. Kelly Burkhart. Um, here's a cute little bunny with Happy Easter on the back and two little... Um, Hershey Kisses treats on the inside, so it's just folded into a V to hold those two in. And I'm sure there's a little bit of adhesive underneath or on the sides just to make sure that those candies don't fall out. And then the bunny body back to back. Um, and then I got this. This is from Marcy. Uh, Marcy Besecker. So this is not, this wasn't from our party, but she passed out these cute little onstage Houston, Texas buttons. Just a fellow demonstration, not somebody in our in our um, group. So this wasn't at our party, sorry. I, I moved on to some other extra ones. <laughs> I'll go back to the party stuff, but she handed that to me, gifted that to me, super sweet. Um, this is from Candace, um, Candace Johnson, known as CJ. She took a little kind bar, which I can now eat, um, and she wrapped it with designer paper, some trim, and put the word enjoy on there. And then this is really cute too. This is Vicky Spicers. And I'm going to open it up because I have to show you the inside here. <laughs> this is so... Everyone else was opening theirs up, but I'm like, no, I can't open mine up. So it's a, like a little milk carton fold wrapped around. You guys see this. I used to have a staple remover that was a lot safer to use. Okay, there we go. Oh, and then it took the little gem off. Okay, watch. Come on out. I don't know where she finds this stuff, you guys. It's a little tiny Tic Tac container. Isn't that so cute? I love it. Thank you, Vicki. 
All right, let's see if we can get that gem back on the sticky glue dot that it got pulled off of. Okay, there's that. And then I got another kind bar, and this is from Terry, yep, Terry Z. Terry Zuponsich, and I know I'm saying your name wrong, but um, forgive me. <laughs> Super sweet, love it. Here I have a bag. And inside the bag, little things um, you do make such a big difference. Inside the bag, I have a little notebook from Pam Irwin. That's right, I remember. Um, we were having a hard time connecting. And we finally connected at the start of one of our general sessions. And um, we quick did an exchange. I gave her a card. She gave me this whole gift. And, and then we ran off and watched um, presentations and stuff. But super sweet. So... Fun fold car using the B matching bag. Thank you, Pam. Here is a, okay, now we're getting into some swaps too. So there's gifted cards in here, there's swaps. <laughs> um, then we, oh, was this from you, Ginny? I see Ginny's, Ginny's name popping up and I'm wondering if the mug was from her. I didn't want to mention names of people that I knew from Alaska, but I know she's there. Okay, this is a card that was swapped with me um, by, well, she was going to give it to me and I gave her a card back. Anyways, from Donna um, in Canada. Donna, how do you pronounce your last name? Powell? You know what, I never, I never even figured that out. Um, Mom of Sherry Roth, also a demonstrator. And we went to Scotland together. So you'd think I would know how to say your last name, Donna. Sorry. Um, very pretty card using the Magnolia. That is a newer set. And obviously here's that layered floral um, embossing folder that everyone is loving up. I love that one. Here we have some of the um, Zinnia paper and the Zinnia stamp set. Looks like it's on some vellum even. And... Um, stamped and then colored in with blends, probably stamped with the uh, stays on ink because when you stamp on vellum, you want to have something that dries quickly onto coated or non porous surfaces, and that would be stays on for your outline ink. Um, and then for the inside, you could use blends, alcohol based markers to color. So, and then she's got even, even got the matching. Um, embossing folder. This card is from, oh, and it says it all on the inside. This card is from Penny McCollum. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I guessed right. Did you guys get a quick read at that? No, not from you, Ginny. Okay. All right. Yeah, I didn't think it was, but I was, I don't know. I can't remember and I'm feeling so bad. Okay. Um, this card is from Marie Ressler and look at how this holds shut. It just tucks right under the little leaf there. See, it goes across, then you tuck it and then you open it up. And there's the sentiment strip going across the card, which you could open up and you could put another sentiment on the other side if you want to, or a little hidden secret message under there. Really cute fun fold. This is uh, from Lori Perez. And Lori Perez did kind of like a little sack of treat kind of thing as her um, gifts that she was passing out or swaps. Um, this is those little honey chocolate bars. Um, and then we've got in here some coffee, some decaffeinated house blend, taster's choice coffee, and it's all tucked inside with a topper on the outside like that. Really cute, using the bee, the bee stuff that's in the mini catalog. Um, I'm going to shove these back into here because I do not want to lose them. Okay, then we've got another, oops, we've got another Zinnia. Uh, card using the papers and the stamps and some blends markers to color in um, um, and this is a swap card from Michelle Barnes we've got a card using the um, really fun ice cream bundle and here's that dazzling droplets or I forget what it's called I just used it in I have it <laughs> I have that background stamp it's so cute and she made it into an easel card and this is from Marguerite Chen. Really pretty. Like the color choices there. Uh, this is stinking cute. Look at this. Little band-aids. Open up the Velcro. And you have some band-aids in there. Now everybody can use band-aids when they travel. This is a nice little travel pouch that I'm going to now bring with me to Mexico when my son and I go in 
just a couple weeks, maybe three weeks, two, three weeks. I don't remember. When's the 27th from now? <gasps> it's two weeks. I'm leaving in two weeks, you guys. So excited. This is from Alicia Connolly. Thank you, Alicia. This is from uh, Jennifer Hill, the other gal and her husband we went to Scotland with. So Sherry, Donna, Jennifer, and Dave. Um, such a fun group. Uh, easy to get along with people. Just had a blast. And so she uh, gave me this card um, while we were at Houston. And obviously there's the mailbox again. Really, really fun bundle. I need to buy it. Okay, this is really unique. Check this out. <laughs> this one is one of those um, missing middle cards, but look what she did with the die here. She did some like in and out stitching with some twine to give it some texture. Really fun. There's the inside. This is from Michelle Van, Wier Van Wigeren. Wiggerin, then Wiggerin. And then we have um, a fun fold that I need to put better adhesive on. It's falling apart. I think this is the one that's falling apart. Maybe this is not the one that's falling apart. But um, Angela O'Connor took and folded her card. So you push it back like that and then you open it up and you have this really fun display type card. And it looks like that. Then we've got a card from, and that's using the hot air balloons. Are the hot air balloons carrying over? I think they are, right? I want to say they are. Uh, here's another card from Angela O'Connor. Um, she gave me two of them. So I have this one here. Um, this is just fun little panels um, layered up and with a little sentiment in the middle. Oh, that was a personalized card to me. That was so sweet. Thank you, Angela. And then this card is from Anita... Llewellyn. Anita Llewellyn. Gotta love the stamp set that she chose for her sentiment. Layering, layering, layering leaves. <laughs> and then we've got, I want to say that's from Timeless, but I'm not sure. Timeless arrangements and then that daisy paper. Timeless and the daisy paper are leaving you guys. I don't know what this is from, but it reminds me of that. Really cool fun fold. See how that is? So it's just a little unique. It's a Z-fold, but it's, it's got a totally different look to how it's assembled. Thank you, Anita. Here is a card using that um, Nature's Sweetness Sweep. This is from Maria uh, Labrador. And she's got that tone on tone with dyes layered onto the background for texture and, um, and fun. And then obviously she used some of that cool um, Oh, uh, what's it called again? The gold leather, faux leather trim. The faux leather trim is going through the middle. We've got some gold accenting here because there's some gold on the designer paper. Really pretty. I love the idea of embossing white on black cardstock, right? The air, hot air balloons are carrying over. Thank you, Janet. But this would be an example, by the way, thanks, Janet, of, um, you know, a bundle isn't carrying over, but the separate pieces are. So you can still get the stamps and the dies come May 1st, but if you want to save, then you would want to get them now. So again, make sure that you're checking out that online store. Okay, this is a card from um, Sor uh, Soraco, so, so, I'm sorry, I'm botching up the name already. Socorro Gonzalez Bray. Bray. I'll just show you. That's her, um, her little list of things that she used. And that's what it looks like. I'm assuming it's a female, now I don't know. Sirocco could be a guy. We have guy demonstrators, you guys. So if there's anybody out there who's watching and you're male, you can still be a demonstrator too. You can still join in on the fun. We have lots of them. Um, okay, it's just that the majority are female. Okay, this is from um, Jean. Dra, uh, Drahan, Drahan, and oh, she used layering leaves. Here's the sentiment. Here's those little leaves back there. And then this is from the perennial lavender um, suite, but she did, turned it into pink flowers. Really pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I hope these are inspiring, you guys. <laughs> is the parakeet stamp set retired? It is. And thank you, Linda, for um, responding to that. I'll, you know, these cards aren't always using current products or even Stampin' Up! products, but they're just cards I've been gifted and they're just to inspire. So I hope that you're getting lots of great ideas, layout ideas. I mean, here, look at the way the strips are added here. I don't know if this, 
Well, yeah, it's supposed to be. It's like, you know, kind of back and forth-ish looking. Fun little layer with the ribbon there that she colored with blends markers. This is from Tina. Now there's a challenging name. Um, Kurd, Kurdic, Kurdic. I'm guessing the V is silent. I don't know. Um, I used to be an elementary teacher, so I always want to challenge myself to say people's names. <laughs> All right, and then we have another one with the zinnias. This is from Bla Bonnie Blanchard. Um, just intense colors. I love the combination up here. So pretty. Um, and then some lemon lolly with embossing. Really pretty swap card. Here we have um, one from Fran Trish Trish Trisheka Trishetta Trishetta, and this is like one of those. Um, it's like card candy or um, a card front is what we used to call it when it was a rectangular piece that you just add to a folded piece of cardstock. So we've got a card front idea here, really fun um, look here with just a little strip of gold. Love it. I will layer that up and create a card. And here this card is using layering leaves in the bow punch. This is from Linda Heller. And I love like the little speckles that she's got here, probably from the technique where you tap your marker over your paper and it gives kind of that speckled look. Have you guys done that? You take something hard, you tap your marker and you get that little speckly look there. And then we've got the gingham ribbon. This one's leaving. We do have another gingham ribbon that has vanilla in it, slightly wider and it's stained, but the white and black one is leaving. Oh, I love that ribbon. Um, Cause I use a lot of white cardstock. So I like to have white based ribbons. Um, and then do you see what she did here? I'm thinking she took a block it looks like this size block and inked it up and then stamped it down on there and got that look. That's what I would guess. Linda, love it. Thank you. And then here we have that embossing folder with um, the layered, le layered, what's it called? Layered uh, floral, layered floral. Um, and then she's got little tiny white accents here from another embellishment that I don't know if it's leaving or not, but it has like black and white and I want to say gray in it. Um, but um, she's just accented a few of them to, for emphasis. And then look at the end, little tiny butterfly. This is a stamp set that just came out by the way. And this card is from, let's check it out. We'll peel back her, her card here. It is from Lori Longwell. She added it with temporary adhesive. Okay, we have more. You guys hanging in there? This card is a fun fold card from Susan Hymans. Go grab some food, you guys. Come back. You can, you know, you can always catch the parts that you missed, but go get some food if you need to. It's already almost an hour. Um, but look at this. Isn't that cool? I'll probably add a little sentiment to it just to make it, you know, feel a little bit more complete in the front here, but I just love that whole fold idea. Susan, love it. Here we go. Um, this is a happy Easter card from Carol Baumgartner, demonstrator sister of mine, where she took the designer paper, laid it down, added the strips, cut the ends of the strips. Cute. Love it. Here we have that chicken set <laughs> or rooster. What's it called? It's called, oh, she doesn't have supplies listed. This is from Stacy Geyer. Um, also a card front that we're going to layer onto a card base. Um, this st stamp set is leaving. Uh, I forget what it's called, but this is like the third version of stamps that we've had similar. Um, we've had chickens and roosters and these guys look like roosters to me. Anyways, yeah, really cute. Here we go. This card is from Kathy Howes. I don't know where that die comes from, but I've seen it a lot lately and I don't, I don't know where the pieces from are from, but Kathy Howes, really pretty design. Very calm and um, creative card. Look at the way she colored each tiny little piece on there. I don't know where those pieces are from. The stamp set and the die. Hey Chuck, it could be Linda, I'm not sure. And Fractured, thank you. That's the name of the layout that we had where um, Carol Baumgartner had the, the, here, I'll just bring it out again. This one right here, Fractured, yeah, okay. This card is a spring card from Tony. Tony, I, th I saw your name pop up. I think you're watching um, a little Hello Spring card. 
Tony is so sweet. She sends me cards too. Little butterflies on there. Bunny. Really pretty card. I'm thinking that I got this from you out in Houston, right? Is that what happened? Because <laughs> it's in my swap pile. I must have. Um, here we have a card. And I think it's supposed to be on its side like this. Because the words inside go this way. And so the sending is probably just a vertical look like that for the design. And then it goes like this. This is from Lisa Bailey. So it kind of sits like that. Does that make sense? Kind of like a little zigzag-ish thing. Um, this is fun. Uh, this card is from, uh, I got to make sure I say the name right. Oh, I don't, okay, Hannah Crafted Gifts. I don't have her name, but watch. I think this is how it works. Oh, now I can't remember. You slide something. There's a part that you slide. Oh, there it is. So you go like this and you slide it and the paper trimmer goes through the paper. Life is better when you're crafting. <laughs> and then to shift it back up, it's gonna take a little bit of shimmying, but you guys got the idea. Here we have another card. This is from Martha Walsh. Uh, tone on tone, monochromatic, right? Monochromatic card. Very pretty. The colors are Lost Lagoon and Pool Party, I believe. Here we have the coffee set. The coffee set and um, stamps and dies. Um, this is an extra die, I think, unless it comes with a coffee set, I don't know, but I love that size circle, stitch circle with some twine on there and then some little splatters and using the embossing folder, the splash one, it came in the combo pack. That one's already gone. That one was gone like right away, I feel like. This is from Darla Watson. So again, check out the retiring stuff. This card is a fishing card. It's a happy retirement card. So we have our little fishies, our lure on the front, happy retirement card. This swap card is from Lessa Hagen. Hagen, maybe it's Hagen. <laughs> yes, Tony, okay. And then here we have an Easter card. This is from Linda Larson. Linda Larson used the pretty ribbon that was a celebration pay, um, freebie and some papers. I don't know where they're from. Can't remember, but cute little Easter swap card. And then we have a card from Tracy Payne. This is using the Nature Sweetness bundle of products. Oops, I think that was supposed to stay attached because I saw tape there. Hang on, watch. Boom, there we go. Cool, right? A little pop up in the middle. A little Z fold action going on there. And here we have something similar. This card is from Sandy Stellenberg, watch. So lots of pop-ups all together at the same time. Okay, we're almost through, you guys. <laughs> Not, okay, next, we have a card from Elaine Shader. <laughs> and this one has some Wink of Stella added to the subtle little blue and green flowers stamped onto the blue cardstock. Here she stamped it here with some of the Wink of Stella. It's just a really sweet and pretty card with the navy ribbon going through there. And that's Elaine Shader. Um, I love this. This is clouds done with that dye that um, there's like border dyes that we have that create clouds. And that, well, one of them creates clouds. And this one is leaving. I'm so sad about that borders dye set leaving, but look at the really pretty idea of doing like sunset colors instead of just the typical blue. So we've got the yellow in there, we've got the pinks and the oranges. And that was from Tracy Bauer. And then we've got a fun um, slider kind of thing here. So watch this. You pull this and it pulls up like that into a little easel-ish kind of look. And this card was by Jody Jorgen. And then we've got this swap card, lots of beautiful coloring on this from Vicky Vesico, uh, Vesicio, Vesicio. I'm just gonna show you because she's got some um, items listed here too. And here we have uh, the Painted Lavender Suite, really pretty, really delicate looking. Love this added coloring on the sides here. Sponges, daubers, maybe even the blending brushes, I'm not sure. And then we have this one done with the hot air balloon uh, bundle. So we've got heart balloons going up in the sky. 
we've got some clouds and I can tell from the clouds here in the background that we have this cloud punch and I'm not sure if it's gone yet. It's retiring, I think. Yes, it is. Yeah, because <laughs> it's not in my stash anymore. But she took and made her own stencil by punching it out of paper and then she took and added, probably with blending brushes, um, the blues inside to get the blue clouds. Perennial um, lavender sweet set of dies for the for the um, postage size piece there. This is from Pam Morris, case from Brian and Emma's super awesome fun time with uh, Stampin' with Brian. <laughs> uh, and then we got um, this card. Oh, this is a fun fold. This is from, let's see here. Oh, cards for friends. I just have, I have four names. Karen, Pam, Joy, and Charmaine. And you open it like this, and then like that. Cool, right? And then we've got this card. This is a card front, so something I can add to a card base. I can pick any color I want. This is from Tel uh, Shelby Township. And I just, like, how did she get that? That's what, oh, it looks like a footprint. Doesn't it? Doesn't this look like a little baby footprint on here? I don't know. It could be. Now I want to go contact her and ask. That's really cute. <laughs> Here's a coffee card. Well, we've got two coffee cards in a row. This one is from Lissa Zwalonik. Um, So little cups of coffee on here from the papers. Cut out a little uh, sentiment and then the coffee stamps in the background. And I think this is gray granite cardstock. Oh, and on the inside too. And then here is another coffee swap card. This is, uh, I want to say, it, yeah, it's a book, book binding type card. Opens like that. And that is from Michelle Thera, Theralt, Theralt. And then we have a card with the zinnias. And this is from, let's see, Michelle Barnes. We've got a little shadow piece by, behind the um, die cut zinnias here. And then the tilted layers always adds for a fun look. Love the sequins, very pretty. Here we have a card using um, some paper from the celebration. This was that stippled paper. Um, and I can't remember where these dies are from, but they're pretty, they're gorgeous. <laughs> the coffee looks good. <laughs> You could go grab some coffee, Lisa. You're working hard today. <laughs> this is from Debbie Barnes. I got a lot of cards from Debbie Barnes. How did that happen? I can't remember now. I don't know. Um, this card is from Michelle Suet. And using the cute little doggy that's in the online exclusives. There's like pets and stuff in there. And then we've got the coffee paper back here. Some of this pretty ribbon, which is carrying over. The peacock and gold ribbon. This is stain, you guys, and so are these little embellishments here, the um, petal pink and peacock embellishments. She's got the petal pink one on the dog's little collar, and then she's got a couple of the other ones there. Okay, here we have a happy birthday card. I love it when dyes make the sentiment, right? Really fun. Um, takes a little bit of time, but super cute and eye-catching. This is from Lisa Yama Yamamoto. Lisa Yamamoto. Um, I got a card from Aldana, Aldana F, and this is how it works where you take and fold it diagonally in this direction. The piece is, I've done these before and I can't remember. Let's see, four and a quarter. Oh yeah, four and a quarter by 11. And then you take and die cut or fold diagonally here, and then you're going to take and fold it in half this way, and then you meet the two corners together to get the fold in the middle. And it does fit into an envelope. I'm gonna prove it to you because this is one of those where you kind of have to see it to believe it. Hang on. So it fits like that. It really does work in an envelope. <laughs> um, yeah, I love it, really fun. And you can turn it into a pocket too. Like you can place a card in there if you want to. You could put it in here. Just a fun, different look, Aldana Epp. And then I've got um, a card from Sherry Roth using the Celebrate going down and then a nice bold one here with pretty ribbons. Those are carrying over, the twine's carrying over. And I think the purple gems are, I wanna say. I don't know, it's hard to memorize it all. 
Hey, Wanda. Good to see your name pop up. Um, this card is from Michelle Litwiller. Wheeler. Weiler. W Litwiler. There. Now I said it right. Um, sweet, sweet gal. Lover. Um, met her through Jennifer, by the way. Uh, so here we have um, one of the zinnias. This beautiful trim that's leaving us. I'm so sad about that. But Michelle does beautiful cards. So that is from her. And then I got this card from... Oh, I don't have a name on that one. Sometimes that happens. People swap and then they don't like put their their contact information on the back side. It makes me so sad because I don't know who to give credit to when I'm showing off their stuff. So swap card with cute little plants, uh, uh, potted plants here. Um, that embossed background with the layered florals again. Then we have this one. This is from, oh, another card that I don't have a name on. Um, so we have, oh, that layered florals embossing folder again, and this is from a, a bundle where you can die cut, emboss, and, um, you ink up the embossing folder and then you die cut and it presses the color into it. Really, really cool thing. Um, and then we've got that designer paper that is leaving us or has already left. I think it's already left. I think it's already gone. Splendid day or something. Um, here we have a card, you know what, I think I put all the cards that didn't have names right next to each other. So here's another one, um, monochromatic, uh, white with the color and then a little bit tr uh, trim there, embossed piece here, embossed background, really sweet and, um, cute card. This is the one that's falling apart. This is the one where I have to add better adhesive to it, but it's the same type of fold where you have your center, center piece and you have to push back to open up like that. So I'm gonna have to fix that and I haven't taken time to do it yet, but that's where it sticks is right there. And I don't have a name on the back of that one. <laughs> fine purple, okay, the purple fine shimmer gems are saying, thank you, Lisa, appreciate that. Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder. Yes, oh, you're good. Okay, here we have a little envelope looking layout. So this tucks under like that. You open it up and it goes like that. This is case from Beverly Morals, Mor Morales um, and the card itself. Oh, and we don't know. We don't know who it's from unless this is the person who made it. But that is a swap card I got. Then I've got this one and another one that has no claimed name, you guys. You guys, if you're going to a convention or on stage or whatever, you got to put your name on the back of stuff. <laughs> um, using the Daisy paper stamp set dies, uh, using the last year's in colors. Here's that pebbled path color and the moody mauve. Really stunning. I love this. Wish I knew who to give credit to. <laughs> um, and then we have um, this card. This is a similar type of fold that we just saw before but going in the opposite direction. There we go. No name. <laughs> uh, this one is another no name. Why do I have no names on these, you guys? What happened? I thought I had only like maybe a handful, but it feels like I have like 10 of them. So here's another card where uh, floating by, just to say hi, using the submarine um, stamp set. And it folds like this. Oh, and you can write on the back side because sometimes it's hard to fold it flat this way because of the way it all positions. So if you can write on the back, that's even better. Yeah, there are no business cards or anything falling out, you guys. So I swear, I put them in here as is. This one is Trisha Joseph's. Remember I was telling you that card reminds me of Trisha Joseph's. Um, this is where she used the meandering meadows. She's got a layer of paper in here. And then she's got the oh, happy day. Super cute. Um, I should say super pretty. It's super pretty. <laughs> there are lots of ideas, Ramona. I agree. Um, here we have a card that has little rings of wreaths here. I think this is one of our newer stamp sets in, that got released in the online exclusives a couple of months ago. Um, and uh, the beautiful woven twine type stuff that goes with one of our suites in the annual catalog with all the pots and earthenware and stuff. And then this is from Kristen Crowley. Thank you, Kristen. Here we have, um, this I believe is one of the cards. Nope, this is designer paper. Is it designer paper? No, it's the card. <laughs> it's the card, I think. It's gotta be the card. 
Oh gosh, now I don't know. It's a swap anyways, and there's no name, so I can't ask. But we got the B on the front. These cards are the Memories and More um, Cards and Envelope pack that coordinates with the Memories and More cards. And I swear this is one of the Memories and More cards, but I can't tell. Because it's really glued down tight. Encircled in nature. Thank you, Terry. Oh, you guys are so great with calling out stuff. If you're watching the After Live, check out the comments that are in the live section if you can. Because they share a lot of helpful information, those people. They're, you guys are good. <laughs> you guys are good. Um, maybe they use a sticky note? No. Well, Kathy, they couldn't have because I'm organized. Like, that's one of my things. <laughs> and I left notes and cards and everything. Like, I even have envelopes still within, like, or insert. Yeah, the, these, these people did not put their stuff on there. And I'm feeling so sad. I didn't know that was that many. Um, this is from Marcine Ingram. Um... I mean, it could be a chance where I did it to a couple, but not all of them. That would not be the case. I would feel so bad. This is a bookmark, you guys. So it tucks under and goes in like that to mark your page of your book using like uh, a folded piece of cardstock. I've used envelopes to make these in the past. It's really cute. Look at the, those are made with the skeleton dies. Um, there was a little cowboy hat and cowboy boots or whatever. Um, in that set of dies that we had back in the other catalog. And then we've got, let's see, Lisa Marshall. This is not yours. This is, this is, oh, I, Lisa Marshall, you probably had, okay, so I did find something that was pulled off a card. So Lisa, sweet thoughts, memories, and more. That was yours. This is yours. This goes here, right? <laughs> I hope I'm right. And then I got this fun fold card and it tips up like this and it's an easel. That's from Maria Friedman. Uh, little treats here. And I don't remember who the gum pack was from, but it slides through. Oh, maybe it's stuck down with adhesive, but it's wrapped around some gum. I think I got this from Terry Phelps, I want to say. Uh, I got this card. This is a slimline card. And this is from... Um, Laura, Laura Keller. I might have missed some notes, you guys. <gasps> I'm feeling bad if I don't have all my notes that I normally have with my cards. Why would that be? That's not me. Anyways, really co cool with the same idea of a diagonal fold here. This is, I believe, four inches? Maybe it's less. No, it's less because she used eight and a half by 11 cardstock instead of 12 by 12. Yep, eight and a half by 11. So it's folded at three and three eighths. Yep, every section is about three and three eighths. This one's a little shorter here. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, maybe slightly. Anyways. Um, and then I got this from, I believe, Vicki Spicer. I want to say, yep, Vicki Spicer. Little notebook inside uh, a little binder. So these are folders that we can get um, as Stampin' Up! demonstrators, and she took and altered the folder to make it into a cute little binder to hold a smaller little notebook. Stinking cute, right? I have three cards to show you. These cards are special, and they're shown on my blog today because um, I wanted to introduce you to something called card candy. Um, my demonstrator group, we're get, gonna gather in August, and we're gonna do what's called a card candy swap. And you basically just bring a piece that you're going to add to the front of a card. And you could add it just like a card front, um, but it's, it doesn't have to be rectangular shaped. It's just a piece that you can add. This was really popular years ago. Um, I was doing um, in-home parties. And um, during that time, the swapping that we would do would be like little trading cards. And we would make little gifts for our um, host and hostesses called card candy. And we would have, um, I forget what they're called, but they were swap sets and they were like in this little cellophane bag holder. Just, it's interesting how times change. But I'm bringing back card candy to my group because I think it's fun. It's quick and easy and it doesn't take as many supplies. Plus it's a great way to use up the things that are laying around in your room. So if you're one of those creators that you start something and you're like, eh, I'm not going to use that, but I want to save it. You probably have a little pile like I do sitting off on the side of your room. And so that's what I did with this. These are flowers that I was 
trying to play around with for uh, a design and I just I never ended up using them um, so I brought them in and assembled this when the challenge to my group for one of our team events was create card candy that does not have any oh, that it's floral it needs to have something floral in it cannot use green and it has to have dimension right so my dimension are dimensionals little curling of the flower petals with bone folders there is green but it's it's down um, so I use the white side of my leaves and I've also got some little embellishments that pop up so I took put some dimensionals on the back for the dimension layered up all of those flowers on top of each other too right and then I grabbed some um, paper at, like a card base petal pink card base basic white layer I did do a little bit of artsiness and put some um, uh, some blending brush stuff on the top and then I just added this right across the card like that and now I have a finished completed card I thought petal pink would go really well because when you take and sh um, turn those iridescent rhinestones to the side you see a lot of petal pinkish coloring to them so that is a finished card just by adding card candy to a base. Oh, and let me tell you a little bit about these. Um, I am using a bundle that the bundle is retiring, but the pieces of the bundle are not. So a perfect example, textured floral and the textured floral dies. The bundle is retiring, but the two separate pieces are not. So you can still get these two. Those are the ones used to make the images, um, the sentiment, the cutting. Um, what else do I want to tell you about this one? Um, iridescent rhinestones, those are leaving. The colors, the colors that I used in the flowers are leaving. This is Starry Sky cardstock, Starry Sky ink. Um, Orchid Oasis was the um, other blue color I used in here. And Tahitian Tide, there's a bit of Tahitian Tide that is in this one as well. So, and I'm going to click over here to make sure I didn't miss out on any other supplies that I wanted to mention with that okay um the next one this card candy and I'm going to peel it off it wants to keep sticking down onto my finished card because I did have it finished and then I peeled it up in a way so you could see it this was the same challenge this piece here was at the same demonstrator event again the challenge was floral no green and a bit of dimension right so I've got my dimension here my sentiment piece pops up I've embossed there's no green on any of the leaf parts but it's got some floral that's got the layered floral embossing folder card candy you just add it to the front of a card so and you're gonna see I, I used <laughs> foiled cardstock and I peeled it back up because I already had it down so ignore the mess messy background here but I just added it to some gold foil to really give it some sheen put the gold foil up on dimensionals onto a color that sometimes we're not so sure about but this is wild wheat and it looks stunning with gold foil the um, other parts and pieces so layered floral embossing folder there's wink of Stella that I took and tapped like you you take the actual pen wink of Stella and you tap it onto something hard whether it's a scissors or a ruler or whatever but you tap it pretend like my, my, my finger is the wink of Stella you tap it and you get that little speckle all over so that's that and then I also have the iridescent foil gems on here timeless arrangements stamp set for the sentiment that is leaving timeless arrangement dies those are leaving um, the hot air balloon dies for this piece here that's stain and lemon lolly is this color so I think I mentioned all the pieces for that card and you'll see information on that oh and you know what I should tell you measurements you guys if you really want to know measurements this is the basic five and a half by eight and a half and this layer is four by five and a quarter and you're going to see that with the inside white piece too um, the strip is three eighths of an inch tall and you can make it as long as you want um, and then you just trim it off with your scissors to make it fit these pieces the gold is the same as the white on the other card so it's four by five and a quarter onto a this time though it's folded the other way so it's four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half the inside white layer is also four by five and a quarter this white piece here though is two 
by five and an eighth. Yes, five and an eighth. So in case you wanted to recreate these cards, hopefully you can. Thanks, Becky, you're sweet. Okay, and then this one, um, I have not yet put together yet. This is using the On the Ocean. Okay, so I have to admit to you that I had this, um, oh, I can't grab it, I have a little dimension over there. I had parts and pieces die cut right away when I got this stamp set and when I got these dies. And I had them sitting off to the side with my quote unquote card candy pieces for the longest time. I had something else in mind and I finally just put this together and said, Rachel, this is what you're gonna do with it because it is a cool ship. So it creates this really neat um, 3D looking. I mean, the way that the dies are, it makes it look like it's, here, I'll put it down here so you can see better. It makes it look like it's coming out at you. It's really cool. Um, the wave pieces in the dies are really stunning. And so I used um, basic gray to get that really rough water. But then I needed some paper for the background because this is my card candy now, right? And I needed some paper for the background. So I found this piece from the Daisy and this is called Fresh as a Daisy Paper. And there's one sheet in there where you can take and cut out little sections. This is one of those sections and it has the clouds and it has like this land here, but it could also be sunset. It could look like the sky is starting to get darker uh, or the sun, or maybe sunrise, maybe that's what it is. But the sun, uh, the, the sky has a little bit of sun gleam going on right there, right? This stamp is from the On the Ocean um, stamp set. Um, this stamp is from On the Ocean stamp set, and so is that one. This gray, basic gray, is cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. This layer and this layer are both four and a quarter, I'm sorry, four inches by five and a quarter. And then I just trimmed my ocean to make sure that it was five and a half inches at the max. The background paper, basic gray here, matches the ocean water so it just kind of blends in i stick it right at the base of the card like that and then i think i have a dimensional here too that i gotta pull off there we go and that is my finished card card candy plus a base equals a card <laughs> you don't have to get this elaborate with your 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 backgrounds like you don't have to do blending brushes or extra stamping you can basically just do another layer or just put it on a white card base, right? So I hope that you like the card candy ideas. Um, if you're in a swap group yourself, maybe you, you would want to um, mention the idea of doing card candy. So we're going to do it in August. We have an event here in Minnesota called Creative Connections for fellow demonstrators um, that are within teams of the people who are part of the planning process. And so we put on this, this event for our team members. And um, because I have some people who don't live in Minnesota, I am making it even more tempting to come out for it. And we're gonna do a team event the night before and we're going to be swapping card candy. So I'm super excited about it. When you go to my blog post that's connected with this video, you're going to see photos of those cards. You're gonna see the supplies listed at the bottom, not all the supplies, but most of them. Um, and I just gave you measurements. Hopefully you can put those cards together if you want to. I hope that you enjoyed this live. I can't think of anything else that I wanted to make sure I told you about. I think all the news I did at the beginning because I knew this live would be long. Um, I think that's it. So. Thank you all for sticking with me. This was almost an hour and a half, and I I, I thank you all for, for watching. If you need to, um, you know, you're watching this after the live, some of you probably like came in, stopped it, got some food, did your, you know, went to work, came back, watched a little bit more. I mean, I'm totally fine with that, but I hope that you enjoyed all the creative idea ideas and got to watch it eventually, all of it. Thank you everybody for being live with me. This was fun. And Lisa, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being my moderator today. You guys take care. I am going to do my live again every Wednesday, 11 a.m. Central Time. So I'll see you in a few more days um, at my channel. Subscribe so that you get notifications. And please, thumbs up if you can. I appreciate you all. Thanks so much. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye-bye.